Well, today's Good Friday, and uh, we're closed at the LC. And um, you know, this is a day that we stop and consider, and read, and even lament on uh, why this day is is even called good. Um, we know that Sunday's coming, uh, but today is a day that we stop and consider all that Jesus had to endure um, before Sunday came. Now, I wonder why they call it good. You know, what's, what's good about God's one and only Son? What, what's good about the Savior of the earth having to endure all the things that he did? What's good about, you know, being interrupted while you're in prayer to your Father and having your own Jewish establishment come and arrest you in the middle of the night when in days previous he was in the temple preaching and teaching? They could have easily just arrested him there, but it was done in darkness. You know, what's good about one of your students, one of your disciples, betraying you for next to nothing? What's good about one in your inner circle disowning you? Not once, not twice, but three times. What's good about standing trial in the middle of the night? First to Pilate and then to Herod. And, 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 and they didn't find anything worth sentencing but yet still the, the, the same people who, who last Sunday, uh, the same people who were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Those same people now are shouting, crucify him, crucify him. And they're so angry. What's good about that? What's good about the Savior of the world being beaten? horrifically beaten and, and, and mocked and, and having your clothes, you know, just casting lots for his clothes and what's good about that? Like, what's good about getting your, getting your, your hands, your, your wrists nailed to a cross and your feet nailed to a cross next to two criminals and even still being mocked, you know, by them, by one of them saying, Hey, you, you know, you say that you're the Savior. Why don't you come save us? You know, why don't you come get us down off this cross? What's good about that? And yes, we know that Sunday's coming. But when we really stop and think about and read through all that Jesus went through, what's good about that? And so... If you don't have a place to, um, to go to on, on Good Friday, to really just stop and, and, and think about these things. Um, and if you don't have a place on Sunday morning to come and celebrate the risen Savior, I just want to, I want to invite you to Lake Church. Our Good Friday service is uh, at 6 o'clock, and our services on Sunday are at 9.30 and 11. And um, Jesus is the, is the reason why we do what we do here. Uh, whether you are a pickleball player or one of our, um, our sports families or, or you work out in the gym, um, you know, we have been blessed immensely, primarily with what Jesus did on the cross for our sins. Um, so would you just come and celebrate with us? But if not, my prayer is that we would all stop and consider, deeply consider, what Jesus went through on the cross on that Good Friday. And then on Sunday, we would celebrate that he is risen, and that he is risen indeed. I'd love to see you this weekend, but if not, have a great weekend. Jesus is the king of the world. He's king of my heart, and I hope that he's your king too. God bless.